Okay, so for this question, right, we are looking at a rectangular piece of cardboard where the ABCD of size N, so uh, size N is here, and 2N, uh, then uh, we uh, cut out a square, you know, just like how, just like how we do some of those origami and handicraft, right, we will cut out, uh, you know, like the four corners of the box, so that eventually when we fold it up, right, uh, it's going to give us like a box that looks something like that, so, so it's uh, something like, you know, those shoe box, you see at the side well, it looks something like that okay so as you you cut out the box right okay you of course you also need to note that the box will have its own uh, dimensions so the dimensions here uh, if you see that this is n note that uh, n is a fixed number lah. so in case if you're stuck at this question then one of the thing problem uh, one of the things that you might be facing is that you know you are worried about n what do you do with uh, n so this n here uh, is actually a fixed number right you see n here is actually a fixed number and this two ends is fixed. So if we look at uh, this uh, dimension here, subtracting x and x, right? This should be n minus two x over on this side. So the whole entire dimension is two n, right? So minus x minus x, this is two n minus two x. Okay, and the dimension of the box will be x. So it will be looking at something like this. Huh? So this is x. This is two n minus x. And this dimension here is n minus n. Okay, that's what the box will look like. Now, show that the volume of the box is given by the following, right? Which is not too difficult. If you just look at uh, now, we have the length, the width, and the height of the box, right? So we just need to uh, multiply length times space times height. So length times space times height, uh, x multiplied by n minus x, multiplied by n minus 2x. Uh, this eventually, uh, you just expand uh, part one. And it's going to give you what you want to see, lah, which is uh, eventually the volume. It's going to give you 2n square x minus 6n x square plus 4x cubed. Okay, which is shown and uh, it's actually not too difficult. Okay, so the, the next part, of course, is to when we use a calculator, how do we find in certain form that the value of x that gives you a stationary value of v and explain why there's only one answer. So. Note that in this question, not to worry, uh, right? the stationary value here, so we are only looking at stationary value, so we don't really need to worry about whether you need to prove whether it's a maximum or minimum or point stationary point inflection. You just need to uh, find the value that gives you a dv dx equals to zero. Right? So we want to so -called solve dv dx equals to zero and sort of because we want to say that that is only one value of x it means that we look only one only one solution there's only one solution so without further ado we go on to solve for dv dx now dv dx here if we were to just differentiate our v right with respect to x differentiating 2n square that is x that gives us 2n square differentiating uh, minus 6n x square that gives us a uh, 12n x differentiating 4x cubed uh, that gives us a uh, eight uh, x twelve x cube. Oh, sorry, differentiating four x cube. That will give us a uh, twelve x square. Okay. Now, when we equate this to zero, right? When we solve for x, uh, it look, may look very daunting, but think of this as just a very humble quadratic equation. Now, I'm going to write it in decreasing order, so that you can see that uh, twelve here, x square here. This is the quadratic variable. This is the linear variable and this is the constant okay so uh, we're going to use quadratic formula let me maybe simplify for that divide by two so that i have smaller variables to deal with now okay uh, i'm going to use the quadratic formula this is my a this is my b this is my c and x should be equals to negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4 a c over 2 a okay now simplify a negative negative 6n that gives me a 6n simplify inside negative 6n square that gives me a 36n square 6 times 4 times n square that gives me a 24n squared. The denominator is 2 times 6, that gives me a 12. 
which following will give me a 6n plus minus square root. Now inside here is 36n square minus 24n square. That gives me a 12n square over 2, 12. All right, I'm going to simplify further. Uh, square root 12, uh, this will just be the same as square root 4, square root 3, which is uh, 2 of square root 3 n, right, square root n square will just be n, and this gives me 3 n plus minus square root 3 n, okay, which uh, would actually be, sorry, 6, huh? okay, which would be 3 plus square root 3 over 6 n, or 3 minus square root 3 over 6 n. Okay, so there are two possible answers. However, you, you do need to note that this, okay, okay, uh, 3 plus square root 3 n. Okay, now this, what will it affect is that you know that n minus 2 x, right? Okay, so the, if you look at this dimension, uh, you can see n, and this is n minus 2 x, right? Your x cannot be too big, right? If your x is too big, right? You see here, if our x is too big, uh, the fact that if you look at the dimension of the cardboard, it will tell you that 2n minus x, sorry, n minus 2x huh, has to be more than 0, meaning x has to be uh, simplified x less than 9, n over 2. So if you look at this right here, if your n is too small, okay, if it's too big, huh, okay, if it's too big, sorry, it's not this one, but rather this one. Okay, so if you look at x, huh, if it's too big, right, here, this is definitely more than n over 2. You can see that this is 3 over 6 plus square root 3 over 6n, which is n over 2 plus square root 3 over 6n. Right, this part it already suggests that uh, this value here is more than n over 2. Also from here, uh, the rejection is based on the context of the question. It tells us that we have to reject this because n must be, x must be less than n over 2. Okay? Okay, that's all for this question.